All right, you're rolling. And switching cameras. Yeah, it'll come back. Oh, I better it should. And up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the pinky. And the thumb. And across the knuckles. And we'll take the ball into one hand and squeeze. And then the other. And then the first. And one more time on the other. And right, let's go around the back. And switch, 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 switch. Through the legs. Switch. 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 Oh, we'll put the ball on the ground. Assess the feet. Step on the ball. Right in the middle of the foot, press down three times. And bring the ball up to the knuckles, press down once on each, going across. Slide the ball across the knuckles. <clears throat> And bring it to the top of the heel and slide it across the top of the heel. Bring it to just underneath the first knuckle and press on the side of the top of the heel. And for us in the middle of the fifth metatarsal. Roll down the bones. And screw. Three, two, one, release and reassess. <clears throat> Same thing, other foot, right in the middle. Knuckles. Roll across. And roll across the top of the heel. Press in those three spots. Roll down the bones. And scribble. Three. Two, one, release, get the ball out of the way, reassess, and let's do 12 good mornings, one, pinching at the waist, keeping the head up,
Uh, shake the tree. And center. Twist at the waist, swing the arms. And center with some ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step to one side to gather in starlight. Centering and gathering from the other direction. And center. We'll walk, march, or jog. So today we're going to do the upper body postural exercises. Nothing too strenuous. You want to do rapid squats to pick up the heart rate. Not a bad idea. I think I'll sprint myself. Continue doing what you're doing as always. And whatever you do, it's always be safe. I'm going to start and then. Five. The idea of going to have class three. Two, one, two, three. And Twenty. And three, two deep breaths. Interlace the fingers, raise the hands up. Reaching up and then bending back if you can. Center, bend to one side. Yeah. 
and then the other. Come on back to center. Lower your hands, press out of the chest. Bring them down, interlace the fingers behind the back and raise the hands up. Come on back down and shrug. Roll back. Swim. Reverse direction and backstroke. Breast stroke. Hold the hands out and rotate in one direction and then the other. One palm is down, one is up, flip flop. And bring the arm in across the body and press in at the elbow. Other arm. Behind the back, press down. Get in. Other arm. Grab both elbows and Rock side to side. Come on down, rotate the head. Then go the other direction. Nod. Go over your shoulder. Look up. Look down. Over one shoulder. And then the other. We'll do a side lunge. The other way. And come on up and grab a stick. We're doing the gym stick routine, which we'll get the hamstrings and calves later. I'm going to start with some dynamic swimmers in one direction behind the head. And then the other. And bring it up overhead and go side to side. Mm 
And then bring the stick behind the back and twist it to waist. Bring the stick down to just above the knees. Bring the hands around front, hinge at the waist. And pull up, stretching the trapezius and upper back. And then bring the stick around front, right in the middle, step back, hands are near the top or at the top, hinge at the waist, stretch the shoulders. And then bring the stick across the body with one hand. Other hand goes up underneath the armpit. Tug gently on the shoulder, hinge slightly at the waist. Same thing on the other side. And then bring the stick to the side of the foot. Press out with the top hand as you pull in with the hand below, hinging slightly. Same thing on the other side. And then bring the stick out front. Bring your foot about six uh, inches away from it. Lean the stick against your collarbone. Slide your hands down. Bring the heel, uh, uh, rotate on the heel if you'd like to increase the stretch on the hamstring. Bringing the sole up off the floor. And then go to the other foot, same thing. Sliding down, lifting the sole, rotating on the heel. Come back up, put the first sole, or your sole of the other foot, against the stick and press to stretch the calves. And then the other foot. And come on back. We're going to stretch the hip flexors. Foot leg is about 90 degrees. The back leg, you're on the ball of the foot. Come down a little bit. And then switch the positions of the legs. Come on back up, grab one leg by the shin, ankle or toes, 
and stretch the quads. And then the other. And then bring the first uh, foot up in the front, press the knee back, in slightly at the waist. Stretch in the glutes. Come on back, get the other foot. And come on back. Put the stick down. And get ready to serve some upper body postural exercises. We're going to start with the next uh, isometric neck strengthener. You want to make two fists, put them underneath your jaw. Tongue is on the roof of the mouth. Press down. And release. I'm going to do Brugger's scapula retraction. So hands are 90 degrees in front. Come back, hold, two, three, and back. Hold, two, three, come back. Hold, two, three, and back. Hold, two, three, and back and hold, two, three, and back. And put your fists on your temples and bring your elbows together, two, three, and back, two, three, and back, two, three, and back, two, three, and back, two, three and back, two, three and back. Now we're gonna do uh, the chin tuck. So tuck in your chin, but hold it. Two, three and back and then uh, extend and then in. Two, three, in. Two, three, in. Two, three. In, two, three, and in, two, three. Let's not forget our W's. Back, two, three. Back, two, three. And back, two, three. All right, let's go to a wall. Again, in the W position, if you can align the backs of your heels, your uh, thighs, your hips, your shoulders, and your head against the wall, great. If not, and you're a few inches away from the wall, that is fine. But if you can get everything against the wall, great. And we make a W and we go up and down 10 times. And 10, Get your hands uh, hang for a bit, shake them out. Still against the wall, 
you want to make uh, bring your hands to about 45 degrees below and come up to your shoulders and back to that 45 degree position and do that 10 times. And now we're going to put our arms at uh, 90 degrees again and lift up overhead, pick a cherry, one arm at a time, come back to that 90 degrees. And we'll do some around the clocks coming up. Hopefully the upper arms are parallel to the ear. Getting as close as you can. As always, you can go through the middle if you need to. Now bring your arm over your head and just stretch. And then the other. And then let's just go back to the wall again and make the W, see if you see any improvement in terms of your ability to get against the wall. Sometimes anatomically, <laughs> we're not capable of that. But if you can get your upper body sliding up against the, your arms and your head against the wall, that's great. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, take a couple of breaths. We're going to do the breathing. It's Leonard Roar's revitalizing breaths. Four short ones in and out, and then one long one in and long out. Four rounds of that. <clears throat> Starting now. And let's rub our hands together, cultivating chi and forming a chi ball. To dance us around. 
as the energy flows from one channel to the other like water. Flowing. And centering. Two breaths. And let's open our hearts. And we'll send it out. And center, two breaths. And bringing down chi from above. Going down, gathering it up. Namaste. Speaking about Leonard Orr and his um, revitalizing breaths, uh, Leonard Orr was most famous for, um, in the 70s, coming up with um, a breathing, um, a, a rebirthing uh, sequence for his uh, breathing techniques. And yesterday I was watching a woman who studied with him and is still doing these rebirthing Techniques. It was really quite fascinating. The Shift Network, uh, shiftnetwork.com, I think it is, has been running a breathing um, seminars all week for free. I think for you can watch uh, the videos for up to two days after they're made, uh, and they've got uh, dozens of presenters. Some very interesting ones. Um, I actually paid to join it so that I can watch it. Um, you know over time, but uh, you, you, can, you can watch free, you know, check it out and see if any of it appeal to you, shiftnetwork.com. Okay, so- Thank you um, very much, Tom. Thank you. You're very welcome, Marlene, take care. Great to see you, Bill. Um, gonna do the yin yoga routine. I'm gonna put the timer on. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Okay, Art. Take care. See you soon. Oh, here's here's today's um, inside time. Oh, it, it went away. It had some brilliant statement, but it disappeared on me. So I'll just go to the timer. The inside was to act quickly if you have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're my timekeeper. <laughs> hey, see ya. Bye bye. <laughs> Take care. And uh, it is warming up. So I'll meet you on the floor in cat position.
¿no? Yeah. 
form Sports. Used to chess. And Thanks a lot, Tom. Thank, Thank you great. very much, Tom. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome, Suzanne. Have a good one. Take care. So long, how to? Okay, so. Ava, how are you feeling?